Mark is joined by an amazing chef, Josh Emmett. Welcome, both of you. Yeah. Thank you. That's it. Josh is in the kitchen, and we've got a fantastic recipe for you today. So, what is it, Josh? So, we're doing the uh, Madame Wu um, pork hawker roll. Wow, okay, sounds what, awesome. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's possibly our. Um, it's not possibly. It is our <laughs> highest selling dish by a country mile. Uh, we do three hawker rolls actually. Yep. We do a we do a perchic chicken. We do a nice eggplant for vegetarians. Good. Um, but the pork takes the cake. Pork is the winner. Yeah, I'm just looking at the ingredients here, and it looks absolutely fantastic. So there's lots of uh, tricks and secrets here, and uh, he's even given the recipe as well. So check the website a bit later. So come back, and we'll get this uh, beautiful dish on the go, and show you all the secrets. So back over to you, Mel. Welcome back to the cafe, and ladies and gentlemen, please, would you please put your hands together for Josh Abbott? Yes! Josh, it is so nice to have you here. One thing you didn't bring, though, is a phone book for Mark to stand on, because he looks really oh, short next to God. you. I could have bought two of them, couldn't I? Oh, hey. oh, man! OK, he's on fire. Right, OK, but anyway, great to have you here. We yeah. are creating a recipe that you don't usually share with people, so this is a great chance for us all at home to learn how to make this Madame Wu's classic. It is. Uh, it's so, um, Madame Wu is traditional Malaysian, um, you know, hawker food, essentially. And, and this dish is a hawker roll. It's a pork hawker roll, and uh, it's traditional traditional recipe but it's more a way of eating right okay so it's a way of eating it so it's it's pork stuffed in a in a roti bread with um, pickles and lettuce and all sorts of chili and stuff it, it is magic sounds and awesome. a, a bit yeah as I say biggest seller by a country mile uh, Mark knows what he's doing he's, he's gonna make a pickle mm -hmm. okay but the, the main ingredient the first thing you need to worry about with this is the um, braised sticky either pork hock or pork shoulder okay, okay? right uh, so in in the pot here we have um, Water, soy sauce, uh, a little bit of sugar, star anise, uh, cardamom, cinnamon, all those sorts of flavours. Absolutely delicious. Smells good. Yes, it you does can... smell. I can smell it from here. And how long would you usually cook that for? You usually cook it for about an hour and a half to an hour, 45 minutes. Now, okay. what you do is you bring all the liquid to the boil with yes. all the ingredients, spices, uh, and drop your pork or your uh, either your hock or your um, shoulder in there essentially and let it go. Nice. Cut it to a nice size piece, about okay. a bit bigger than a tennis ball maybe. Okay, okay, nice. So once you've cooked that, essentially you take the big pieces out and then it's a matter of shredding it. Once you shred it, you shred it down to sort of that sort of texture. Nice. And also taking the liquid and reducing it by half mm -hmm. and you've got your liquid. Okay? okay. And then it's a matter of sort of heating that up and that is the main ingredient inside <laughs> the hawker roll. Oh, it looks incredible. It sounds, sounds, it's, it's still simple, right? Well, yeah, I think Not so. Not too complicated. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, the other ingredients, you know, when you've got the, the, the fatty and, and the richness from the uh, hawker roll, um, you know, and, and the pork, what you need is some acid and some balance against right, it. Right, to balance so, it out, yeah. So we use a little bit of lettuce, which is really nice and light, which yep. we're going to, what we call chiffonade. Mark knows what he's doing with that. He's going to finely slice. Don't ask me to chiffonade. I have <laughs> no. no idea what you're doing. Uh, and also a pickle. So in this case, we use pickle, um, uh, pickled cucumber and uh, onion. Okay, okay And sweet. there's nice acidity. With your, with your cucumbers, actually, interesting ingredient, a bit of a boring ingredient. We, 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 use, we use so many, we use hundreds and hundreds of cucumbers. Um, but uh, salt them, okay? okay? That'll take some of that water, some of that liquid out, mm -hmm. and then what you'll also get um, is, is they'll season them a little bit, and then we can pickle them with a straight vinegar and sugar. So what sort of level do you have to be at home to be able to cook this? Can anyone give it a shot? It, 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 is, <laughs> yeah, it is so easy. It is so easy. It's really, essentially, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice braised pork hock, which everyone can do. New Zealanders are great cooks. Uh, sliced lettuce, pickled uh, cucumber and um, onion, a uh, little bit of chilli, spring onion and coriander. OK, nice. OK, well, look, you carry on. And, Mark, what have you been doing? Right, so we made the pickle all there. So yes. just uh, use a mandolin to get them nice and thin. Mm -hmm. Or you can use a knife if you want. It's up yep. to you. And we've got the lettuce, mm. so this is the chiffonade. Yep. So just really fine slices. Yeah, it is nice thin slices. It smells good too. So what else have you got in here? So that's the pickle in there. In so that is okay. just um, so white wine vinegar and sugar. Yeah. Just brought up to the boil uh, and then let it cool down and it goes nice, thick, acidic um, uh, pickling liquid. Oh, nice. Put okay, there. cool. And then we're just going to chop some chilies, some coriander, some spring onions. Josh is making the mix there. And then we've got these rotis as well, which Josh has made. OK, nice. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a lot to get through, so we'll take a break. We'll come back in just a minute. Two of the best nights of my life Josh Emmett was responsible for. What were they? You will find out very soon.
Right, we are back in the Mastercraft kitchen, uh, kitchen with Josh and Mark for the next steps to create Josh's Hawker's Roll. Now, what is the history behind a Hawker's Roll? Uh, Hawker Roll, it is, um, it's, it's, it's something we invented. It's a Madame Wu original, really, right. because no one else has... It, it, it's more of a way of eating, OK, right. I would say, um, because what we do at Madame Wu is, is quite traditional food, mm -hmm. right? very traditional Malaysian dishes, uh, our best version of, of classics, essentially. Um, but when I eat and eat, uh, eat out... And I a lot of Malaysian food. I always get rending, I get roti, and I stuff it all in together and I eat it like a sandwich, like, nice. a, like a big burly bloke from <laughs> Hamilton Wood. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we decided when we opened that we'd you know, do our version of really that, um, right. which essentially is a hawker roll. It's, it's roti filled with the best possible meat, lettuce, pickles, everything, and eaten Nice. Easily. Uh, yes, no, and I like that idea too. Now, Madam Wu's very successful. I've been to your one in Queenstown, but where else have they popped up? Uh, so we originally started in Queenstown, actually. Amazing building we've got down there. Then uh, we opened Takapuna. Yep. Uh, you know, the concept worked really well and, and really popular. Uh, Dunedin and then Hamilton, and one more on the way, actually. Nice work. Well, if you've never been, you should try, and the website you can see on your screen right now. Now, as I said earlier, Josh, you are responsible for two of my best nights <laughs> ever. Um, and it all started at one of your restaurants, Rata in Queenstown, one yeah, night. I remember the night we had fun. Yes, yeah. no, it was good. Well, it was well, good. Well, you know, you had fun. <laughs> I had, I had fun. fun. Yeah. I know, I was annoying you for a photo, I think, at the time, after a few too many drinks. Um, and then, um, the second night was a night at Ostro. So just some of the places that you've got, incredible place for people to start their good nights out. So thank you very nice. much for that, I my appreciate friend. that. It's all so, part of it, isn't it? So I'm going to put this together. We have our roti, a beautiful roti that I've pan fried in a little bit of oil. Yep. And then that spreading, that, that um, mix on there is sambal. Sambal blachan quite spicy, mm -hmm. okay? Mm. Then we've got our pulled shredded pork. Yeah, it okay, which so good. Going down the centre. Lettuce on. Okay, I can, I can see how that. this is going to be enjoyed yeah, by everyone. Yeah. A little bit of lettuce down the centre. Pickle, quite a lot of, I like quite a lot of pickle. Pickle's good. Chilli. A little bit good. of chilli. Chilli's good. Chilli's are hot right now. Um, as in the spicy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, shall I start that again? No, We're, that's all right. I do they are hot the right time, now because Josh, they yeah. change during the year and, right. they, and they do go sort of from um, mild to oh, hot really? and they are, they're very that. hot right now. So you notice that the dishes are uh, certainly spicing up. Then we go lots of coriander on top. Oh, just for you, Jesse, our barista, some <laughs> coriander on top. Look <laughs> at boom. that. That yeah. is it. Oh, fantastic. Uh, delicious. Isn't it? I can't wait to try it. You just eat it now. <laughs> <laughs> not mine. I've, I've had enough. Right, OK. I tell you what, we'll come back very soon to see everything wrapped up here in the Mastercraft kitchen. I'll give you my verdict on this. To Mark and Josh, these are looking fantastic. Are they ready for me to try now? Yeah, the, yeah half of it. Half of it? And the other half of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are ready. Actually, you, you, can, you can go for it. What are you doing really uh, tomorrow? Oh, yum. Yum, tomorrow is National Nut Day, so I'm making pecan pie. Yum, delicious. Also, we on the show, we'll be uh, joined by James Frankham, who will be sharing some incredible photos from the National Geographic Photographer of the Year competition. Oh. You're right? <laughs> yes, like many of us, if you're collecting the new world's little gardens, Hamish Dodd is going to show us how to transplant and troubleshoot seedlings. So a lot to learn, so you can get the most out yeah, of Yeah, I'm going to try transplanting. this. Get in this. there, you try it. You how do I share it? Some old ones. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Did you mean Josh. That? No. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anne, and to everybody else for watching. Don't forget to go to Madame Wu's, and don't forget the finale of Real Housewives tomorrow night on Bravo. Bye. Bye.